All right, here's a question that says to uh, calculate the wavelength of a photon of light energy, uh, of light of energy 4.09 times 10 to the minus 19th joules, okay, corresponding to a light in the visible spectrum of hydrogen. Okay, so we want to calculate a wavelength of a photon of light that has an energy of 4.09 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. So we're given energy, we want to find the wavelength. Okay, so uh, here's what we're given. Now, in order to find the wavelength, we need to have a relation between energy and wavelength. Okay, now there's a couple of relations that you uh, need to know. The first is that uh, energy is equal to Planck's constant H times, not wavelength, but the frequency. Okay, E equals H nu, uh, the Greek letter nu. And uh, the other relation says that uh, nu equals uh, the speed of light, that's the frequency, equals the speed of light divided by the wavelength. Okay, so these are the two relations, and, and um, this one is equivalent to saying that uh, the wavelength equals, um, you know, you can write this as C over nu. Um, either way, it's just doing a little bit of algebra on it. If you multiply both sides by the wavelength, then that would cancel, and you'll have wavelength times frequency equals the speed of light. You divide both sides then by frequency, and you'll get this. So um, they're equivalent, uh, equivalent equations, um, and I, I only mention that because I don't remember which one I presented and said you need to know that. It doesn't matter. You can get the one from the other by just doing a little bit of algebra on it. Okay? So here we have energies related to frequency, and uh, we want to find wavelength. So we kind of have to do a two-step process. We can uh, put in the energy here, uh, and we have Planck's constant, that'll be given, um, and then we can find the frequency. And then knowing the frequency, we can uh, put in the speed of light and frequency and find the wavelength, okay? Um, or you could put it like this, uh, and, and we'll get that, okay? So from this equation, if I divide both sides by Planck's constant, it'll cancel here, and I'll have the frequency is equal to E over H, okay? So um, let me uh, write that here. The frequency is equal to the energy, and I'm going to go ahead and put that out. Uh, well, let me write the equation first, E over H, and then I'll say that equals, and up here I have 4.09, times 10 to the minus 19th joules. And then on the bottom, I have Planck's constant. Again, this would be given on a test. Uh, that's going to be 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34th uh, joules times seconds. Okay, so what I uh, am going to end up with, this is a, a division of numbers in scientific notation, okay, um, and then our units, okay, the joules will cancel, my energy units will cancel there, and I'll have seconds on the bottom, that's the units for frequency, okay, so remember it's like waves per second, so that's why it's on the bottom. All right, so uh, just uh, maybe for a little added practice, Let's go ahead and do this uh, part um, as uh, it's two steps, because you may not be able to put this in your calculator, depending on what kind of a calculator you have. But we know this is just moving this times 10 to the minus 19th. That just moves the decimal place from, from here 19 places to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, over 19 places. And this one moves it 34 places to the left, all right? So if we just divide the 4.09 by the 6.626, we'll get uh, whatever number that is, and then it's gonna be 
times 10 to the, and we have minus 19th, and then we're dividing, so that's going to be um, minus, but since we're subtracting a negative number, it makes it a positive, okay? So in the end, we're going to have a positive uh, uh, 34 there. So negative 19 minus a negative 34, same as negative 19 plus 34, um, which is going to be times 10 to the, um, let's see, that's going to be 15. Okay? So now let's uh, put this part in our calculator, and um, all we have to do is take the 4.09 and divide that by uh, 6.626. Okay, that's all th that we have to put in our calculator. Um, so uh, here we have 4.09 divided by 6.626 and we get 0.617. Okay, um, so we have uh, 0 0.617 times 10 to the 15th and if we put this in the right unit in the right uh, prop proper scientific notation that's where we have a non-zero number and then the decimal place so it'll be 6.17 times 10 to the um, and then this is moving at 15 places to the right so from here I only have to go 14 places to the right okay and my units, as I mentioned before, are um, per seconds. You may see that uh, written as either slash seconds or maybe one over seconds, or sometimes you might see it as s to the minus one. Um, all of those are equivalent. Okay, this minus one just means that it's on the bottom. All right. So uh, typically, the way I write it is just slash s um, and I should probably when I'm writing do sec so that there's no confusion with that being a five there okay so this is my frequency okay that's what I calculated here that's the frequency of my uh, my light that has this energy now